Hey folks, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys to part 8 of Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Aztecs. Uh, we are currently preparing for war with Attila the Hun, who has taken over half the world. I mean, would you look at that? He's basically just cut down everything in his path, and he's probably going, yeah, he's going to go for Indonesia next. And, uh, well, it might just be the Huns left to face in this game if he just destroys every other civilization. Also, we have, uh... Contributed a little bit too much towards the World's Fair, but that's fine. We could just... Nah, I don't think I'm going to get it with 420 hammers. That's simply not going to happen. Mm, we could try. I mean, it's a couple turns of production. What's the worst that can happen? Anyway, we're getting attacked by crossbowmen. That's not good. Um, Yeah, you're done hunting barbarians for now. You can go back. The goal is to get artillery, and once we have artillery, we should have what we need to uh, just uh, fuck over Attila massively. Well, let's see, he probably has a really strong army. Yep, he is definitely the strongest. He has <laughs> o o over twice as many units as we have. So let's start upgrading. We have uh, some crossbowmen right here who can become Gatling guns. Not that many, but we do have some. So, I knew, I know I have more of them. Yeah, here we got one, here we got one. Yeah, we can even start moving our units, like, semi... Just casually towards the border. Even join in on a great general, maybe. Mm, no more barbarian encampments, it would seem. I'm just gonna casually start moving my units towards Attila. Not the uh, cannons, though. They're gonna be moving moved over here. We need to upgrade them naturally. I mean, we could see maybe ah, 631 hammers will not be enough on Immortal. Someone, yeah, <laughs> 1900. Lol. All right, well, that's funny. Can't kill these guys just yet. Let's see, we have a policy that's probably going to be rationalism. Yeah, there's really no <laughs> there's really no debating that. Rationalism, 10% extra science gain. I really wish they would nerf that a rationalism opener because I feel like it's way too overpowered. Let's grab a windmill and Tlatelolco. Windmills are pretty fucking expensive, but boy are they worth it when you do get them up. They're really fucking good. But yeah, I really wonder if we can take Attila with what we have. We have to keep some units behind, though. We have to keep some units behind. We can't leave our borders completely undefended. So, um... What we can do, on the other hand, is we can send our experienced troops to fight Attila's war, and then we can build... Probably Gatling guns, I think. And pikemen to just hold the border, and not to mention get our, uh... Get our so uh, policy bonuses. Uh, what is it called? Military cast. Very important to do that. Okay, we built a cathedral. It's good. Losing grasp on Sansibar. I wasn't even aware I had a grasp on them to begin with. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we can do this and heal up. That was a bit of a gamble. But it paid off. Now we have wine, so yet another city has Wheel of the King Day. Isn't that lovely? Uh, I think we're going to go and cut down some of his forests. The reason why I'm keeping these cannons on the borders is because you need to be inside your own borders to upgrade to artillery. I hope riflemen or musketmen will be enough to take on Attila. I don't know if they will be. We'll have to see. Ah, shit. My, uh, my units are getting demolished over here. I need some help <laughs> dealing with the crossbowmen and barbarians. All right, so what do we want in Venice? Probably an armory, so we can build units here as well. Um, also, probably a, uh, what is this guy doing? Sent him over here, didn't I? So I think two of our great generals can accompany this army. Having two great generals will probably be a, be a good thing. And we can leave our third general at home in case we are attacked. Keep him here. If anyone is likely to attack us, it's probably going to be England from here. They're kind of the only civilization that borders ours, so it wouldn't surprise me a lot to see them attack me. Right, 
Let's just heal up right here. And why do you make it so hard for me to convert you, Beograd? Come on. Fuck off, Edo. Fuck off, Edo. He says, as he seals the deal. Buying gems for four gold per turn. City of Kantmandu wants a trade route. Also wants to pledge protection. I could do that, but... You don't get a lot from it. It's like 20 influence or something like that, and you're just gonna lose that as soon as some idiots decide he, want, he wants to start bullying you, so. so. That is like our fourth academy or something like that? Pretty solid shit. There you go. Now I can convert your city. I'm just gonna go chop forests right now, build some farms. Yeah, we're gonna start by taking Oxford. Uh, no, we mean no harm. Seriously, <laughs> I was not aware I was moving units close to his borders. Why did he react to that? I don't have many. Oh, yeah, right. He has a city right here. That's why. Hmm, that's why. All right, let's kill these crossbowmen. And we have another cannon. So let's see. Does Attila have a lot of cities on hills? Yes, he does. Let's grab Barrage and Volley. Alright, so now we're going to get a solid boost with Beograd. They also want us to generate a Great Rider, which we will do in two turns. So that's good. It sounds like we might... No, we have ten followers right now. So we'll get the boost now, and in two turns we'll get another boost. And with denunciation of me. I wonder... I should probably denounce Attila before I declare war on him to get a boost with all the other AIs. He's... Probably not a very popular guy, I can imagine. Oh, Wittenberg also wants our religion. Well, that is convenient. So we don't want to make Attila too suspicious. We want to move close to his borders, but not actually on his borders. Also, there's like a lot of things we can pillage here. Why don't we just do that? I have, I have no idea how good Attila's army is. I know it's stronger than mine, but that's a bonus with Rome. Maybe I could maybe I could repair my relationship with Ro Rome somewhat. I mean, he should be busy getting his ass kicked by Attila any moment now, so... Yeah, Franz kind of just melted. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, probably before he got his musketeers, too. I can imagine. Yeah, we can just go and uh, pillage our way through here. course we don't want to step on his borders that would be bad and we should be allied with this yeah, city now all oh, right we have another great writer you know what that means right that means we can get a theming bonus in the great library let's see aztecs medieval era aztecs medieval era aztecs industrial era there we go plus two theming bonus and we have the oxford university which wants different eras of civilizations other than the city owner so we can trade the Barrack Room and the Wonderful Wizard of Oz, if they want that. From, with a medieval writing slot from Elizabeth, and Barak's Bumbalad with a Renaissance work from Indonesia. And that should allow us to get... A plus two theming bonus here as well. It feels so good every time you get a theming bonus going. It, it, it just makes you feel good, you know? And we have yet another policy. Holy shit. Also, we don't have any coal, but that's to be expected. Let's just, uh, let's just grab uh, secularism, maybe. Secularism sounds like a good idea. It's going to give you like 70 signs per turn or something crazy like that. It's pretty hard to pass down this thing. All right, just going to get some more. Just going to get artillery and we are uh, ready to go. Also, we need two more trade routes. Ha! Oh, cool. Declaration of Friendship with Rome. Would you look at that? We haven't gotten a single research agreement, by the way, in this uh, game. That's probably because we took Venice so early. That's kind of what happens when you uh, fuck off and you <laughs> when you fuck off, do so to say. Do, 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 do. Well, if I were Attila, I'd be getting suspicious right about now, but I'm not. 
Let's just build a bunch of... Oh, we, we have coal. Where the fuck did we get coal from? Uh, oh, from city states, I can imagine. Well, that makes things rather easy. Let's just build factories in all of our cities while we have the coal. We can let the windmill finish, I suppose. It's probably from a city state, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting five coal from Beograd, so we need to stay allied with them. And we will. But yeah, Wittenberg also wants our religion. Sure is convenient, this shit. Um, I guess it, we can keep these, uh, these guys embarked. We gotta spread our religion or our great general out. Like so. This ally is... Um, no, this, these guys aren't allied with Attila. That's good. Alright, we got another cannon, so that will be a total of four artillery. Would like some more, but right now I need, I need to focus on my factories. That's a lot of shit happening at once. But now I have my religion in Wittenberg. They're allied with Attila. It would be nice to gr get them out, so to say. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Uh, no, I wouldn't be interested in a trade agreement with England, I'm afraid. Fuck off, Fredo. I'll take one Fuck off, to you too, as well. That's my first research yeah. agreements. Nope. So, yeah, that's good. We want more of those. However, Attila, you wanna... A liar, Kitsiotis. Don't call me a liar. Go just to have my haha, Um, steel architecture sounds like a plan. There we go. Oxford will fall pretty darn swiftly once I declare war. Just gotta wait for those artillery, and I am ready to Would go. Be interested in a trade? No, I am not interested in a trade agreement with fucking England. And why are you plotting against me, you scheming bitch? You offer trade agreements, but I know what you are plotting. Augustus Caesar told me. Let's not trade with Attila. And after the factory, let's get our trade routes going. Windmill. Sounds like something we want in the capital as well. Alright, I'm just going to make a shortcut. I'll be right back. Alright. My bad, I just had to go check up on something really quickly, and I am back now, so let's continue. I'm gonna grab dynamite in eight turns. So that's as soon as we're Would done upgrade. Oh in a trade no, <laughs> that's a terrible trade agreement, Elizabeth. Fuck off, Fredo. You know, we're buddies right now. You can give me flood gold. None. Come on, you know you want to. 232 gold, that's good. We'll need this money to upgrade the artillery. Artilleries are quite expensive. They are quite expensive. Uh, let's grab a farm over here. Oh, we have a Gatling gun. Let's grab Barrage. Place it in Venice. Yeah, we're not going to be trading with Attila now. It doesn't seem very productive. No, I'm not interested in a fucking trade agreement with England. Fuck off. Start giving me real deals and I might, might, let, might just let you make one with me. But I'm not going to pay you like 17 gold per turn for a bunch of furs. You are spoiled, Elizabeth. You are a spoiled little brat. So our cities are growing quite nicely now, but I'm, I've just noticed that our happiness has fallen a lot. So, and in fact, we are unhappy right now. So we need to buy some luxuries. Maybe Rome has some something to sell. Sell away. No, he has nothing to sell. Hello again. Hello, I am interested in a trade Go agreement on. with England. Hey, she's willing to give me real prices now. Oh, there are so few guys left. Everyone's oh, died. But okay, you do. Why don't you like me? 26 gold per turn. Isn't that just wonderful? Oh, However, okay, you the AI will never say no to an embassy. So that's... You always got some manner of 
repairing our relationship. We could try to get a Wheel of the King Day, maybe. We need cotton. We have Wheel of the King Day in all of our cities already, by the looks of things. But we can see if we could get cotton. Cotton, 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 cotton. He doesn't have cotton, sadly. No! Fuck off, I'm not gonna give you those, that deal. Just out of pure fucking spite right now. I don't know what you got against me. I haven't done anything to you, other than being a little bit of a dick to you in the beginning, <laughs> beginning of the game. But that, that's something else entirely. We should probably go and repair this shit that we pillaged like years ago in Venice. Four turns until dynamites. I wonder if musketmen have the strength to take on Attila. He could have rifles, for all I know. No, I don't want to go to war. Oh, my vi my wine's gonna get pillaged right now. This is why you need some units at home. We do have some pikemen, but I don't... No, we can upgrade them to lancers. Actually, lancers are pretty good at dealing with barbarians, because they're fast. Ban luxury silver. Do we have silver? Uh, yes, we do. Well, we don't want ban. I'm not too keen on sciences funding either. I kind of like my art in this game. I have a lot of it. So... But yeah, banning silver would be pretty devastating for me right now. So... I definitely am not interested in that at all. Anyway, let's go clear out this encampment. Shoot these fuckers. Go repair the mine. Yeah, you voted against silver, dude. That's what happens. But yeah, I didn't go true, but we're still unhappy because someone took our vine. Wine? Vine? It's not a vine. It's not an eight second vine. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta we gotta fucking kill these fuckers. Uh, and I know there's another barbarian encampment around here somewhere, but I wouldn't have been able to see it, so maybe not. But yeah, we gotta get some happiness going right now. Before this war, or else we're gonna have some trouble. Um Alright, we have dynamites, so let's get to it. Let's just upgrade all them shits. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Could go for scientific theory, I suppose. Who should we train with? Not Amsterdam. In fact, you know what? Let's trade with the Ormus and some of the other city-state that requires uh, trade route uh, quest. Kathmandu we can trade with. Let's trade with uh, Kathmandu. Wait, Kathmandu is... No, they're not allied to Attila, thank God. gonna get our factories done now in three in three turns we're gonna get our uh, our first tenants which is great I'm starting to think that you know you could always get more academies I'm starting to think you know maybe we have too many academies right now but then I just realized you can never have too many fucking academies all right so we're gonna very slowly move our artillery to the jungle sadly Aztec artillery do not move faster through jungles it's a shame but that's how they work Alright, so, we definitely need to work on some zoos, some coliseums. Need all the happiness we can get, pretty much. We need to make sure these fuckers don't pillage our iron. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna briefly just get some happiness, even though I'm gonna lose it once I declare war on him, and I'm aware that I will do that, but still, I feel like it's important to do that. Alright, great artists. Probably gonna generate another artifact from that. Yeah. we a uh, Golden Age would be nice, but let's fill up all the artifacts lost. When we do got cathedrals, we want to take advantage of that. We're getting 22 tourism right now, which is pretty decent, all things considered. Maybe we should go back and promote into a knights. Knights are kind of good at dealing with barbarians, so... And then... We should trade with Ormus, because they also have their quests. And build some more farms. 
And that's like our fifth academy right now. I think we have enough academies right now. I think I'm going to focus on... Uh, <laughs> Are we going to get two additional science games from academies in two turns as well from researching scientific theory? Which is kind of good. So how should I line up? I think I'm going to line up... Maybe I should attack Amsterdam directly. That might be a better idea. I could move my units so. It's good to get a good position on your artillery early. You could just move around, I guess. It's a pro it's a cha it's a big chance Attila will ask us now though. However, uh, Attila has autocracy, naturally. Um, but I think this is definitely an autocracy game. That gives us one free tenant, which is not as good as two extra free tenants, but it's, it's better than nothing. So we could go for... I think we need happiness right now. So I'm going to go for one for each natural wonder. That's going to give us five. Or national wonder, not natural, natural wonder, national... Because we really cannot be unhappy when we're raging a war against Attila. Yeah, now we can build public schools. Lovely. And we can move very, very, very slowly through the jungle. I can't leave this artillery behind, guys. If Attila asks me if I want to fight him now, I'm probably going to say yes, because I don't want the Oathbreaker penalty. But I, I really hope he, do, he won't ask me. Wow, we're getting technologies at a very, very rapid rate right now. I think I'm going to go with... Uh, oh, I could, grab, I could grab Rifleman, but right now I don't think it's that big of a deal anyway. Napoleon? He hardly... Ha he has one city left, dude. And he's happy with me now, because I'm also following autocracy. Ironic, though. The two autocracy guys are going to autocracy each other, so to say. Alright, he's probably going to get suspicious now, but I honestly don't care all that much. I got to start moving into a city at some point, right? Got to get rid of the barbarian in camps. I think we're going to declare war on the next turn, so I can start moving in. I really wonder if I have enough shit to deal with him. Let's upgrade to a knight. Knights are handy to have around. They're fast, they can move around, they can clear out encampments. Yep, you're right to worry. That may be your only good trait. Oh shit. You gonna get mad soon? Oh, that was a... I expected him to be more worried. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the war with Attila shall commence in the next part. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part so far. Consider leaving... Ooh, nice cavalry. <laughs> Consider leaving a like and a comment if you did. This is going to be a fun war. A really fun war. Um, yeah, my name is Manx, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!